Kaohsiung, which is Taiwan's second largest city here in the south of Taiwan. We unfortunately only have about 24 hours here, but we're going to spend today seeing as much as we can. We're going to see some of the famous kind of touristic spots such as Lotus Pond, here too, the Dome of Light. We're going to try to eat some delicious food local to this area and I don't know what else, so let's we'll go ahead and get started. By the way, in case you're new here, I'm Steph and my husband Pete and I travel a lot with our four-year-old son Hayes. Right now, we're doing a big loop of Taiwan over the course of about three and a half weeks. In our last video, we were in Kunding and our next video will be in Tainan. So I think that's all you need to know. Let's cut back to breakfast. This is the end of the video. It's called Ames Dao, Dao Dan, which is a type of restaurant, I believe. And we came here for Denbing egg pancakes. Uh, I read about it in some random blog. It's a really cute neighborhoody neighborhood. The moment we got here, the gentleman cooking brought over Hayes a lot of toys. Then like five seconds later, this lovely gentleman behind me brought us a bag of fruit. So they're very kind. Um, and we're having something that translates to a hamburger. I had to give it a go. It's like the Taiwanese version of a patty melt. Oh, it's excellent. I wouldn't say it's like a hamburger meat. It's like more like strips of pork, I think. But Oh, there's some kind of sauce in there. Pickled uh, cucumber as well. This is a great way to start the day. And the people here have been so friendly. And then also, I believe what they're famous for here, which are these John Bean. Crispy. I'm kidding. had anything like this yet, this crispy. Um, this one said famous crispy. This one has, it, I ordered egg and bacon, but it came with a separate bowl of bacon and cucumbers, so let me do one big bite and then I will stop talking. The bacon is really yummy. Mm -hmm. I also have sauce we can put on it, uh, as well as a big bowl of anchovies. We've got like a mini Elvis here because I ordered him a peanut butter toast, but he's putting um, bacon on top of it. That's what Elvis used to do? Yeah, peanut butter, banana, and bacon. Oh. Go shout, Chan. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't take that, Hayes. Don't take it. We need, we need to leave. These people wouldn't let us pay. They kept bringing us more food. Amazing, amazing place. What? That's just such an incredible start to our 24 hours in this city. Who took the cookie from Dan? Who? Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? This is our second time riding the bus today. Our first one was electric. This one is decorated with Christmas balloons and smells like stale cigarettes. But otherwise, they're very cheap and easy. 20? It was 20 dollars? So 63 US cents. So Kaohsiung, I think, is known as being kind of like an artsy city. It's the second largest city in Taiwan. I think it's like almost three million. We're at Pier 2, which is an old industrial area. It's this kind of artsy. Oh, it's cool, the train going by. Artsy area with shops and, I don't know, things that we're going to check out. If you watched our Taipei video, we tried to go to Wonderful Life, which is, I think it's a store, but then they have like a creative play area. It's closed where we tried, so we are trying again. It's a few weeks later. She'll let Hayes have a little bit of fun before we explore this area more. I'm about done with this Wonderful Life. The one here is also under construction. to explore this by bike because it's so big. There's apparently lots of bike rentals around and seen any yet but I'm still enjoying walking around. That is so cool. Just take like an air conditioning unit and turn it into something fun. I love it. I think it's penis. <laughs> I think it's a penis with a face on it. 
saw these all over Taipei. And I thought they were shops, but I think they're like exhibitions. I don't know. Let's go and check it out. I'm a big fan of Nifty, so this one's for me. Yeah, it's. Oh no, there's a bit of information, but it's also a massive shop. This is do good coffee. I'm grabbing that iced latte before we head out of this area to our next stop. And if you like really cute small dogs, they have one here. And free games. I hold you tight, told the world I need a break like a drum roll. B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O was his name. We were just walking along and then we just kind of just stumbled into this really cool market. And it's a match of old traditional market, but with some like cool little hip restaurants and yeah, this is a whole really cool aesthetic and vibe in here. Love the blend of normal market and cool hipster coffee shops and little restaurants. It's really really fun. It would be nice if we had more than a day in this city. If you watched our videos in Japan, you would have seen that. We haven't got any oh, better at this. Mango. Whoa. <laughs> Try not to get it on your cards. This is Gaoshang Popo shaved ice uh, because this is a really popular dessert in Taiwan that we haven't had yet. So. It's a dessert before lunch kind of day. We got the mango and it's got the shaved ice and then it looks like it has the fresh mango, then condensed milk, then mango ice cream on top. You can get shaved ice or you can get shaved milk ice, which I guess is frozen milk shaved into ice. We just went with the normal ice with the condensed milk and the ice cream. I feel like we're getting enough of the dairy in there. That is delicious. I keep saying to Pete, I don't know how fun it would be to come to Taiwan in the summer. It's like the end of March right now. It's perfect, but it's like, it's getting hot. Uh, but maybe I can come back in the summer if I just made a stop for this every day. We have a park break while we wait for the place we want to eat lunch to open. Don't get my camera wet. That's good. That good. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Do you know what this river's called? Love River. The Love River. Daddy, Daddy. Oh, it's called Love River. We got here early. There was no line. We went and looked at the river for five, ten minutes, came back. There's about 20 people in line. So this place with the line that appeared literally an instance is a bay gangzai rice tube. And apparently, if you grew up in Kaohsiung, you grew up with tube rice, tube sticky rice, which is rice with braised pork. And they fill it into this metal tube and then steam it. And that's what we're eating. It looks like with some ginger. And then there's an egg custardy soup that sort of looks like the same situation. Rice, I mean, sorry, I, I'm not sure. It looks delicious and if the crowd here has anything to do with it, it's probably gonna be delicious. Good job, Ivy. Do you wanna try it with the spoon? No, 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 no. You like it? It's great, it's juicy, it's kind of nice how it like all blends together in this like gooey, chewy, porky, savory bite. I've never had anything like this before. Look at that, it's got like the pork and then this super delicate egg. It looks like tofu. That's incredible, like the taste, the texture, everything. We, we always forget to tell you the cost of things and this was, all of us, was $5.65. Great deal. Now we've 
come to uh, Lotus Pond and we took a taxi here. It was $7.50 US. You can take buses or trains, but the taxi in this case was a th took a third of the time and we were approaching like nap time chaos. Oh! We got some tired legs. The um, most famous attraction, we knew this, the, this thing behind me, which is you're supposed to enter through a dragon and out the tiger or vice versa for good luck, but it's been closed for renovations for quite some time now, I think. But I think there's quite a few other temples and things to see along this pond. So the two ice cream day. Do you want chocolate or vanilla or mix? So even though it's under renovation, you can still go through it and you enter through the dragon and out the tiger for good fortune. Whoa, going through the mouth of the dragon because you go through this first. Feeling lucky? Check. Uh, yeah. If you're visiting Kaohsiung shortly after you watch this video and you're worried about the dragon tiger being closed, this sun and autumn pagodas seems even cooler, honestly. And you get to walk in a dragon not covered in scaffolding. Also, a question for other parents. When, what age did your kid enter the why phase? Because uh, haze is like very deep in the... But why? But why? Why? Probably doesn't help that we're traveling all the time and there's a lot of legitimate whys to ask. Why? Why? But why? Why? Kid likes turtles, or you. There's tons of turtles here. I'm gonna go back and check them out again. I think they're all from the same family. What do you think? For our next stop, we really wanted to see what a Taiwanese mall looked like. Just kidding, we're at the Lego store. When we're in other countries, we like to go to a Lego store when they have them and look at the pick a brick section where you can pick different bricks. I guess that was self explanatory. Although this one's not great and neither was Hong Kong, so we're actually just letting him spend the same amount on a small set. We've been here for two weeks and we finally realized that our phones, Apple Pay, you can use on the Metro. Next station. It's really handy, it saves you having to go and buy a ticket. <laughs> I have always wanted to visit the world's most beautiful subway station, which some might call Formosa Boulevard in Kaohsiung. Um, this is the Dome of Light. It was made by an Italian artist. There's 4,500 pieces of stained glass, making it the world's largest light installation art piece. I'm gonna be totally honest. I've seen this in a thousand other YouTube videos. Not a thousand, there's not a thousand on Kaohsiung. And it looks like cool. And it's cool, would I know that it was stained glass and like significant if I didn't know? Probably not. But are you likely to come through the station at some point if you're in Gaosheng? Yeah, so take a look. But I'm not gonna sit here and, and fake a shinga. In their defense, there's a guy with a remote and one of the projectors. I think that's part of it is that there's something happening on the floor and that's not. Oh, do you think it's broken? So maybe it's. I, I, it's pretty. It's that time of the video where we're all a little bit delirious. In needing of a bit of a break. And, and if I'm totally honest, I mean, would love a beer. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We really struggled to find a bar, but we did find a place for massages. And so we walked in and we asked the woman, and they said yes. And so we're gonna do a 30 minute foot massage. Pete went to the 7-Eleven, we have beer. Hayes has his new Lego, and this is the kind of activity I like at the end of a big sightseeing day. I went for this, I haven't seen this yet. This is a pineapple. That's been everywhere. Is it? Yeah, but I've been oh. curious, so I'm glad you got it. It's good. Yeah. In case you're new here and you tuned in for like conventional family travel, it's probably not the channel for you. Oh, that's great. 
Why have we been doing this every day? <laughs> I just realized in that clip, I said that we asked if we could speak beer. Because at first I asked if they spoke English. But I know we asked if we could drink. Huh. Pijo. My Mandarin is so terrible. Our last stop of the evening is this night market, Liu Ho, I believe. I think it's, apparently it's known as like the most touristy night market and I think it took a big hit during COVID. Can I get one of these? No. Why? Because you had a lot of sweets today. It's convenient because it's near Formosa Boulevard where we just saw the Dome of Light. I think probably there are better night markets in Kaohsiung, but this is the one we're at. And I must say, night markets are one of the best parts of Taiwan. I think I said this kind of in another video, I'm like, I'm not over them, but they happen at night. That's why they're called night markets. And at night is when we've had a crazy day and we're all a little bit exhausted and running on borrowed time. So I don't know how long we're going to spend here, but it's cool to see. Uh, it's the one. This not only smells, but okay. look, great dumplings. Let's do it. Hi. These look so good and fresh. I can't wait to eat <laughs> Isn't that really hot? Oh, that's great. I, was, I had a good feeling about this place and then I was watching the lady cooking them and she was like, she's taking a like taking a time in a good way cooking these dumplings and it shows because they're like perfect. You can't beat like a just stodgy boiled dumpling. I was just telling Pete like Din Tai Fung was amazing. Din Tai Fung is incredible but like I don't actually care that the skin is so thin. Like, give me a, give me a thick dumpling skin. I'm all for it. Give me a dumpling with a bit of girth. I know these aren't Chao Long Bao. These are just normal jiaozi. Is that what you call them here? Honestly, I think I kind of prefer, prefer like a standard boiled dumpling, maybe even more than a soup dumpling. Is that going to get me called out? I don't know. Let me know what you think. What time is it? I think it's... 46 a.m. I think it's almost exactly 24 hours since we uh, left this hostel yesterday morning. What a great 24 hours. I could do it over like three times, so you can definitely spend more time in the city. You probably didn't need us to tell you that. Um, but it's been wonderful, and we were just having breakfast this morning at the place we've been staying, which is called Within Hostel. It is a hostel. They have dormitories, but they also have a really lovely family suite that we've enjoyed. So since you made it this far, I think Pete wants to show you around. Well done for making it to this part of the video where we normally do a room tour. And this is a first impression. We're staying at Within Hostel and firstly I've got to talk about this chipboard. Use of chipboard. I love chipboard. They've stained it. It looks great. Nice little living room situation. They're gonna bring, they're gonna bring a bed for Hay soon. He's got an ensuite straight onto the bathroom, shower, toilet combo. Very good. Oh. What's wrong? Okay. Now, God, this is where Steph and I are gonna be sleeping. Look at this ladder. Oh, this is this is like an adventure. All right, come up here. Oh wow! And this, this is our bed. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! You gonna get it? Lovely foam, memory foam mattress. Very comfy. Oh, I love this. That's glasswork going on here with the windows. Oh, this. It's a really cute, cozy We've room. also got... And we also have a balcony. Coming down now to show you the last part, which is this great balcony out here. Go enjoy a cup of coffee out there in the morning. Thanks for watching. Our next video will be from Tainan, Taiwan's oldest city. Uh, we are traveling around the whole of Taiwan. We're about halfway through, so if you missed our previous videos, feel free to go and watch those. And otherwise, we will still have a few more stops. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one.